Welcome back to The Breakfast. It's uh, the final lap. Uh, one of my favorite things or favorite things to do uh, in life is uh, laugh at Arsenal fans. With no wins in seven games in the Premier League, Arsenal's problems continue to mount after being dumped out of the Carabao Cup following a catalog of errors against uh, Manchester City's side that had been misfiring in recent weeks. Ateta was seeking a big performance after a wretched run of form left him languishing 15th in the table, just four points above the relegation zone. You are mean. We've, I drink Arsenal tears for You four. are mean, <laughs> for, Osari. I, I bathe in Arsenal tears. I might not tears. be a fan of either, but you are mean. <laughs> Udok and Joko, please, what's Ooh. going on with this team? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Uh, it's great to be here, but uh, I, I also love to talk about Arsenal and talk about the problems facing the club. So uh, it's, 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 it's been lingering for months now and uh, ranging from injury worries to um, the manager not doing the right thing to the board. Everything seems to be going wrong for Arsenal and it's beginning to tell on the club. And they are gradually getting to that point where it's possible for them to get relegated from the English Premier League. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tragic. I know. You, you've 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 listed you know a couple of you know possible reasons. Is yeah. is, it, is it time when you know you, the board should start searching for a new manager? Yeah. So that's the thing. I've I've, I've always asked this question: Is Arsenal a firing club? We saw how long uh, Marcel Wenger stayed at, at the club for so many years. Even when things started going wrong, it took them a while for them to make a decision on Arsene Wenger. It, it now looked like he resigned on his own. Then when Emery came in, it, things were not working well for Arsenal, and uh, yes, they had to let him go. Now Mikel Arteta is a club legend. Would he be fired? No one knows. And uh, the, current, the recent um, information we got was that the sports director is fully backing the manager. So it's looking likely that Arteta might be there till the end of the season, but the Arsenal fans say Arteta out. The, 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 yeah. Is there something wrong with the team? Is there maybe some concern about the makeup of the team itself yeah. that is affecting their game time and time again? Mm, true. You know, every club has um, a creative angle to it. Arsenal used to have a very creative midfield that helps them score goals, that helps them deliver the passes to the strikers to score these goals. Now, the question has been lingering, what is wrong with Mesut Ozil? Ozil has not played for Arsenal this season, and it's quite obvious that the, the vacuum, he, his, his um, absence has created in the club. Arsenal needs a creative player to help them score goals. Without this, they can't score goals in the club. And currently, it looks like the, club, the, the players are not even ready to play for Mikel Arteta, everything seems to be going wrong. Aubameyang is the captain of the club. He's not scoring goals. There's no leadership in the team, so everything seems to be falling who, apart. Who was brought in to replace Mesut Ozil? No one. No one. There's a Ceballos who came in from Real Madrid who is still on loan. There's a Thomas Partey who has come in to secure the defensive midfield role and is injured. So there's no replacement for Mesut Ozil and he's on the side collecting £350,000 per week. That's a, that's What's a next good life, for Arsenal? Yeah, a good life, a good life. Uh, well, what next? The next game they have to play will be in the English Premier League against Chelsea. Uh, and uh, yes, we know how Chelsea have been firing <laughs> from all angles. So just so are are you saying their chances are nil? Very slim. Oh, yeah, I don't think they can get a victory God. against Chelsea. But I, I saw something on the internet yesterday that um, a former Manchester United player and a legend at Old Trafford, um, Van der Sar, just might be stepping in to replace Edu as a sports director at Arsenal. So we'll see how that turns out for Arsenal, if it turns out for good or for bad. But one thing is for sure, the Arsenal fans are fed up. They want to get results. They want to get something positive from the performance so far from the club. All right. Let's well, see what happens in, mm. in the game. Let's not write them out. They still have fans. That, Even okay. <laughs> the dislike that you have for them, they still have fans. Okay. Thank you very much, Udoka, yes. for coming on Thank the you breakfast. Very much. Big game coming up at 9 p.m. tonight. Yeah, what actual United. champions and oh. people who know how to play football. <laughs> Um, look at, look they're going to be playing face. Everton at 9 p.m. tonight. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> all right, Hello. thank you. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.